Today we are talking about machine learning using artificial neural networks. I'm Ashley Eubank. Hey everyone, my name is Corey Messer. And I'm Kevin Baltaza. And the goal of this project is to get MATLAB to read numbers accurately. So for an overview of this project, we're using um, MATLAB with neural networks. And then we're creating bitmap manipulations of the text or numbers 0 through 3. And we also have a mathematical model of the neural network. And we're going to transition into showing you the different aspects of our MATLAB code that got us to machine learning. OK, the first part of our project was to crop uh, our picture, to resize that just for the to the part of the number and then we're gonna use the slice of the picture like you can see here and they are gonna be our input data and then we'll have our neural networks where we're taking our 13 X's uh, 10 horizontal and 3 vertical slices out of the picture the divisions and then we're gonna use that as our input data and then when we run it through the neural network we'll receive four output output variables. And those will be the probability that that number is read as a 0, a 1, a 2, or a 3. And in this example, our 3 was obviously shown to be a 97% probability to be a 3. Now for the mathematical model for our neural network, here on the left you can see in the diagram that we had 13 inputs that went to 10 different hidden layers. And then we use that to have four different outputs, 0 through 3. And then um, in the diagram, the vertical dots just re re represent the continuation of the lines. I left many of those out to keep the picture from being cluttered. And then here on the right, we can see our input layer just being our 1 through 13 x's. And then our hidden layers, our 10 levels. And then for the output layer, we had our four different values. And then on the right was our um, like our multiple output uh, entities and then our units and it shows that if like h theta was a one then it would be in the in the very top column and then um, or in the very top row and then obviously or a zero and then for a one or two it's in the second and third and for a three it's in the fourth as you've seen on the previous slide we had 97 percent in the fourth row which represented our three and now this is just a quick run through of our code just to show you what it looks like. We're going to show you everything in detail in a second. And this is the actual neural network code that we got MATLAB to generate for us. And if you look at our diagram to the right, it shows in the very bottom blue rectangle square, it says there's a 97% accuracy with our training data, so that's really high for this training. And this is our MATLAB training code, or part of our training data, and we had to input the probabilities to identify each picture as a 1 or a 0 to begin with in order to tell the machine how to recognize these, these x's as certain numbers. The first 10 rows in the bottom represent the horizontal 10 slices and then the, um, the ratio of like black and white within those slices and then the bottom three rows represent the vertical slices representing like the text or the, uh, the numbers being 0 or 1 after we switched them and then on the top is our four different output values. So let's go ahead and take a look at the MATLAB code. Okay, this is our MATLAB code, and first we had to get MATLAB to read the image, and then after it read the image, we were going to resize the image. So we had to find out where the first zero was in every column and in every row, so we could have certain corners for the size of our new image. Then we were able to use uh, a couple of different for loops to help loop through and find those zeros. And then here at the bottom, 
we use the uh, function I am crop and then once we were able to find like where the three or the one was in the picture we, we went ahead and cropped a much smaller picture really tightly around that number and we had to get it to a certain scale so this part where it says ceiling a divided by 10 times 10 we were resizing the picture in order to be divisible by 10 so we could cut it into 10 slices horizontally and the same with the loop after that that says uh, mod of b and m we had to have a odd b so that we could divide it by three and produce three different vertical lines after we did this we went ahead and resized it to the new values that we found and plotted it and then once we finally had the nice tight cropped image we changed all the zeros to ones and then everything else is zero and we had to create this loop because when you crop it even tighter it created some of the numbers not only just 255 but like 136 to represent like different colors such as blue and green and so we wanted to say for every color that uh, was zero or every color that wasn't zero set that to black and white here we went ahead and then we created our 13 different uh, slices, 10 horizontal and 3 vertical, and we set those all to variable x. And then here at the bottom, um, we represented the percentages of it being, of the number, the picture being 0 through 3, and we transposed it so it looked nice and vertical. And the function was the very last function that says ENGI305 function. That was our neural network fun function that we had to generate previously. We were able to use the neural network uh, application inside of MATLAB to help create this function. So let's go ahead and run the code and we'll show some different images. We went ahead and used paint to create our images. And we'll start off with a zero. Um, we were able to use different fonts and then we also were able to use it like handwritten. And so for this, this is a nice, clean, zero, and easy font to read. So you come up to the top. Insert the file. And there you can see the original image, our cropped image, and then our resized image, where we were able to divide that image by 10 horizontally and by 3 vertically. And it also identifies in the command window, you can see all the different percentages. And this was a zero. And so 0.99 is a good percentage for zero. So let's go ahead and try, uh, let's say like a number one. So this is what the number one looks like. And again, this is another really easy font. And then so here's our different images. So then obviously the computer is able to read that it was one by 99%. So let's go ahead and try something a little harder, um, like a handwritten uh, two. And then here's our different images. And with this one, we created a 95% chance that it was actually a two. Um, a lot of our percentages, we, we use 30 to 40 different pictures in our training data, many of them different types of fonts, text fonts, and then also many different handwritten and different styles of brushes and um, really bad handwriting and so forth. Now for our three, we'll try a much, uh, much more challenging font. Let's see here. Uh, like much bigger, bold, blocky. And then here you can see that um, it only thought it was a 3 by about 61%, which makes about sense. And thank you guys for listening to our project. This is us wrapping it up for our machine learning with artificial neural networks.